I was thinking, why do we always have to start our vlogs from the beginning? Hello everyone! This is a real, real, normal day in our lives. Actually, it's maybe even a little worse than normal because usually I'm happier. Yeah, this is my little blanket. Brian's grandma made it for me and I'm using it a lot. Grandma, I'm using it. I'm a little grumpy today. Why? I'm a little grumpy today. I'm tired. Last week I didn't have a weekend because my aunt asked us to help her because she's opening up a new shop and she really needed help. So we did and I'm happy that I helped but we really really worked for two days and then I started my working week all over again and next Friday, which is my day off, I still need to go and help her and I'm so happy I can help but I'm so tired. Okay, this vlog is gonna be just a normal, normal, maybe below average day in our lives where we can catch up and I can show you a lot of little things that we bought to improve our lives and Brian's life. I'll tell you more later. Anyways, I'm late. I need to check my students' homework. Today I'm gonna teach for one, two, three, four, five hours, which is not too bad. It's actually the easiest day of my week. Work, luckily, I know I'm like one of the few people who can still say this during this pandemic but work has been going well for me I feel like people even though you know the work situation is what it is they want to improve their English they want to take private lessons they want to be ready when things open again and when the world starts rolling again ready to roll with the world what I'll tell you more later I really need to check my students homework sorry about this grumpy intro see ya <laughs> All right, first lesson of the day. I had breakfast earlier, but I need more coffee. We bought an American coffee machine. We had been thinking a lot about it, about buying an American coffee machine because Brian likes it, I like it. You know, he's American and this is his house as well. And so in the past few weeks, we've been buying stuff to Americanize my house. And I think the American coffee machine is a very important step. And it's also very easy to make. So you pour water in there and you can add more or less water depending on how much coffee you want. Then you need to get your filters. We had to buy them on Amazon. Then you need to add your coffee. We usually add three to four spoons of coffee. We have Starbucks because we love I, I love Starbucks, let's be honest, but you can use any coffee as long as it's grinded. And then you have to start the coffee machine and you just wait. It takes, I'd say something like 10 minutes, but then you have your coffee and you have a happy Brian. My lesson's about to start, but I still have some minutes. Told you we wanted to Americanize our house, right? So we bought a new laundry machine with a dryer. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know. Follow me on Instagram if you don't. I'm trying to grow my Instagram. And I have daily English quizzes for you guys. So if you want to improve your English, follow me on Instagram. But so, we bought a new dryer. So they installed it the other day. And this is the last time you see this. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... See you never before I show you we bought this because we wanted to have a dryer because Brian grew up with a dryer when we were in Japan we had a dryer and we love it it saves so much time because sometimes you don't even have to iron I don't know why but like my clothes are less wrinkly when I use a dryer so we were walking in media world and we saw this and it's so beautiful I'm getting old I'm saying that a dryer is beautiful Da, da. We're still learning how to use it. There's one more thing we bought and it's upstairs, but I know that Brian really loves it, so he'll show you. Let me tell you this story. 
Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. Right before the people came to install the new washing machine and they took the old one, I was looking at my old washing machine and I was feeling so guilty because I started thinking like, what if it knows that they're coming to get it? And what if it has feelings? And what if it's thinking like, please don't get rid of me. I'll be better next time. How can you do this to me? And I was like, oh my God, I don't want the new dryer anymore. And then Brian saw that I was getting really sick sad and he was like oh my god Sonia okay don't worry I'm sure it's happy to retire I can be so childish sometimes I feel like grown-ups don't have these thoughts why do I anyways our strategy is working I want Brian to feel more comfortable I want Brian to feel like this is his home as well that's why we've been buying new things I know it's something small but if you buy something for a place you feel like you own part of that place. You feel like it's your place as well. You feel like you have the freedom to modify it and change stuff and you don't do it when you're a guest. Of course, there are a lot of things that I would change for this house, but it, it's kind of big and it would be a lot of money. But if there are some small things that we can do right now, I'm happy to do it. And I can see that Brian is feeling more comfortable and a little bit happier. Okay, gotta work. See you later. I'm feeling a little bit happier. My first student was really, really nice. I love having lessons with her. Hi, Lorenza. Okay, see ya. Wait, 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 wait. Real quick, because they, I just got a message. Brian is teaching. Next Thursday, it's Thanksgiving. <sighs> it's such a hard day for me, because to me, it's just November 26th, Thursday, working day. But for Brian, it's Thanksgiving. Giving. And I know that in America it's a big thing and I always feel sad that we can't be there to celebrate with the family. It's beautiful. It's a holiday. He shouldn't have to spend it alone. In a perfect world he would be with his family. I would be with him. But especially this year that's not even an option. So I was thinking like what can we do i contacted this restaurant and they make like the american thanksgiving dinner but only take out wait it's really cool because it sounds very original they have like a salad with some pumpkin and cranberry walnuts apples they have the turkey and the turkey has pistachios plums chestnuts like so <laughs> weird then they have a lot of sides like the green bean casserole glazed carrots baked potatoes and they have a pecan pie i love the menu i just asked them if they have a vegetarian option they just said no but i guess i'll still order four menus and we can have dinner with my dad and his girlfriend it's something it's something i know it's not a big celebration i definitely don't know how to cook a big turkey you know like in the movies like i have no idea i can barely make a burger i've been a pescatarian since i was 14. at least though i found a restaurant in rome that makes the american thanksgiving dinner i think he'll appreciate the surprise well irrelevant for most of you guys but go back to work Lonely lunch break for me today. Brian is still teaching. I was just on the phone with my naturopath. I know it's not the right term, but you know how I have been on this healing diet for maybe three months now? I can tell you guys that I am feeling better. I used to have problems with my stomach all the time and now I rarely feel sick. Like I used to feel sick once or twice a week pretty often and now it happens like once every two three weeks if i eat something that i know i'm not supposed to eat like if i cheat or maybe if i unintentionally cheat what my student is not coming it's so cold <laughs> are you cold i show them the coffee machine and i show them the laundry machine you know what i haven't shown them the tv yes <laughs> because i know that you are, are you thinking about what i said earlier how we're americanizing the house yes Speaking of which... Wait, no! He knows he shouldn't be eating that crap! That kind of bread is not good! What else am I supposed to eat for lunch? Literally? Like real bread. That's not real bread. You need fresh, good bread. Whatever. You're making pasta now? I have no other choice. That's a better choice. You're welcome. I would have cooked for him. I thought I had to work. Mm -hmm. I thought I <gasps> 
I always cook for you. Mm. I always. Always is a big word. She does. Okay, for lunch, I taught Brian how to make the famous and simple pasta with butter and parmesan and he loved it. And I had some little pasta too. And then, since I had some time before my next lesson, I decided to shoot a video, a story time. Okay guys, I just shot my first story time and I think I'll publish that before this vlog because it's faster to edit and because I'm thinking I want to show you the Thanksgiving dinner so I need that footage from Thursday and today's Monday let me edit this vlog that I just shot and yes I just took this sweater off for the video so it looks like I'm wearing a different outfit editing time well in the meantime here's some footage from Thanksgiving <laughs> I was working, Brian went to get the Thanksgiving dinner and it looks so cute! Babe, happy yeah. Thanksgiving! Thank you. What can I say? I loved how detailed, well finished it was. I loved the packaging, all the little boxes, the menu, and it was really good. As I said before, the menu was really traditional and yet my dad, who is a real Italian, liked it a lot. So thank you Bakery House for thinking about the Americans in Rome even though you didn't have a vegetarian option. My god, I was working and I had a lot of lessons and I still have one lesson now. I completely forgot that I was vlogging, but it's not too late. I'm here. It's just that I haven't done anything new except for working and sitting here at this computer. I haven't eaten anything, haven't gone anywhere, so nothing to say. Um, okay, I kept working and then I decided I wanted to go out for a run with my friend Miguel. When I run at night, I never run by myself, you know? You never know. But guys, I forgot to end the vlog. I know, I'm sorry, but it was late and I was tired and I just went home and I ate and I went to sleep and I forgot. Um, this is the editing, Sonia, from a few days in the future. I forgot to end the vlog, but the vlog doesn't need to end. There are still things to do. I've been working all morning. I had lessons, I was editing. It's so cold, it's so rainy. I have a lot of lessons in the afternoon. Let's end the vlog in a like nice way. Let's do a face mask together and let's hear what Brian has to say about this whole thing. Little chit chat. I hope this vlog is not too long. First, I need to convince Brian to have a face mask with me. Baby boy? Yeah. Do you have time now? Yes. You heard me? <laughs> are you are you down? Do you want to have a face mask with me? I don't think I have a choice. You're starting to learn. This is gonna be so fun because I have a lot of face masks. Because one of my friends, and this is not a sponsored video, but you know that I love skincare, and one of my friends sells Korean skincare products so she sent me a lot of stuff just a present but I'll leave her link below if you're interested in buying some Korean skincare because it's so much fun I'll show you come come close so this is one possibility you can pick anything you want I get really excited when I have to try or when I get to try a new skincare products, especially if they're Korean. And usually I give face masks to my friends for Christmas, so I'm glad that this time someone gave me face masks for Christmas. Baby boy, what do you want to try? First, we can eliminate this <laughs> because I'm never wearing that. Yeah. I want something like warmer. Face masks are usually cool. That's good, What's that's a good brand. anti-dust? Like if you have dust on your face? <laughs> Manuka honey. That one's possible. Snail? No. Cherry blossom. I kind of want this one. Honey? Okay guys, I'm sorry. The bathroom is a mess, but we're all homies now, so I don't feel like cleaning right now. Let's just... Since my mask is a three-step mask, cleanser, mask, lotion, while I start, you can tell them how you feel. What's up, everybody? I'm here to tell you about the purchases we've made in the last few weeks. As you watch, Sonia... You don't, don't. Actually, don't. I'm American. Did you know? We live in Italy. Did you know? So we are trying to add a couple of things to make the house Americanized just a little bit. I feel 
hella good. Life is just good right now. And then we got the American coffee machine so that instead of drinking like, just a little bit of coffee in the morning, I got up a lot. You, know, you guys know I like that. Oh my God. We also got a TV so that I could watch American sports and play games with my American friends. Do you want to go show them? Alright. Oh, While we see this girl becoming a monster. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna show you guys my new TV that still doesn't have a stand. I, there it is. Yeah, that's it. It's a standard looking TV. But now let's go back and see Miss Monster. <laughs> I usually have face masks in the evening and I usually cleanse a little bit better like I wouldn't keep the eyeliner. But since I just wanted a 20 minute break, from our busy busy week with my boo i decided to keep the eyeliner your face is already clean what do i do you can figure it out what do you want? tell me <laughs> bro what so what do you do literally you just put on your finger and just rub it on your face no there's a sheet inside what the heck <laughs> your skin will be so hydrated and soft after <clears throat> Why are you breathing heavily? It feels so weird. <laughs> When I have my face masks at night, I usually leave them on for a long, long time. But this time, since it was an afternoon break, we just talked for a bit, we watched some YouTube videos, and then we decided it was time to take it off. But it was still very nice. And my eyes... Not really. Now, now what do I wash my face with? You don't wash your face now! He wanted to wash his face! Like rub this stuff off. You rub it in. I have one more step, the lotion. You just rub it in, rub it in. No, it's a waste. You can go on with your day now. Thank you for chilling with me for 20 minutes. See you. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I always enjoy these vlogs because we can catch up and I feel like I can really show you my daily life. And it's almost like talking to a friend. I mean, I feel like you know me now, so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.